What's up world, it's your boy Teddy B here, May 27th, Memorial Day weekend, after a very, very long work week, and comes a very long weekend. Hopefully long, it's been very short lately. Um, I hope you all have a very, very fun and safe weekend this weekend. For all those who can drink, drink up, enjoy it, get your hangover on, go see the hangover, while you got your hangover, whatever. Um, so yeah, I got my plans this weekend, I'm gonna have a lot of fun. Um, so I just was going through Yahoo's website tonight and you know they have uh, 50, 60 something stories that they have links to on a little scroll bar and I came across this thing called the Eurocopter. Um, oh, I'll get to this in a sec. Um, they get this thing called the Eurocopter for five and a half million dollars. Incredible European helicopter. Um, I don't know what the price for helicopters is supposed to be and if that's the way European copters are priced but I, I don't know. They have this Mercedes option, right? Mercedes, as in the German auto man automotive manufacturer. For another $3 million, your Eurocopter, as if $5.5 million wasn't overpriced already, could get the Silver Arrow logo, uh, leather bolstered seats, wood trim floor and ambient lighting to kind of give homage to the e upper level E class and S classes, and it is a twin motor setup that can get your helicopter going up to 167 miles an hour, because, you know, that's necessary. But whatever, I guess if you've got that much money and you can just blow it on anything, then why not, right? The Eurocopter was actually originally made for luxurious business trips and other ventures. It seats eight people, which it seems pretty hefty for a, for a chopper. Um, I mean, if you had the money, would you blow your cash on something like this? I'd rather, you know, make sure my family was taken care of and that me and, you know, my people were all taken care of. My people being, you know, the person I'm seeing or whoever, yeah. Anyway. Um, another thing I came across on Yahoo was Blackbeard's ship, right, as in the pirate Blackbeard. The ship that he was navigating in the year 1713. They found the anchor to this ship, to this pirate ship, just recently, well, I think it was in the, within the last week. 3,000 pounds. It has been sitting on the ocean until just about a week ago. Now, they want to go down and excavate this pirate ship to see what kind of treasures and things he might have. I mean, I'm mixed emotions about this because... Yeah, it'd be awesome to see what could have been on such a ship during this time period. But also, it's kind of like, that's, you know, it's almost like an underwater grave. You know, why disturb it? You know, let it be. What do you think? Um, so, what I had in my hand here was, I got these cards. I ordered from this decal website called House of Graphics. Um, really cool, real fun bunch of, you know, decals when I throw out my car. Um, and I got these, these cards that came in. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, it might be backwards. I don't know what the, if that says it backwards. It says, hey, you suck at parking. Seriously, learn to park a hole. Bottom left corner, and in the bottom right corner, it says, if I see you do this again, I will key your stuff. Sort of that. Um, yeah. I'm going to start putting these on people's cars whenever I see them park jacked up, because they need to realize what's going on. Um, something that touched my heart also on Yahoo. I've kind of been going clapped on Yahoo's articles today. Um... We all know of all the weather that's been going on recently in this country. All the flash floods that's been going on. Um, I have a family member up in the northeast that had some serious flooding, you know. And now I've been hearing about these other stories about the major flooding by the Mississippi. Um, tornadoes, etc. So, the article I read was, uh, a husband gave his life protecting his wife. When a tornado came through and ripped their house to shreds. They had a bunch of pillows around them. He had uh, a pillow like over her face to protect her face, and he was on top of her also to try and protect her from anything that could fall. Tornado came through, ripped their house to shreds, and when that after that all happened, and the wife pulled the pillow from her face after everything was gone, that was the last pillow that she had her hands on was the one to protect her face. She noticed that her husband was laying, you know, quite a few feet away from her, and his face was turning blue, he wasn't breathing, and he thus died before medical attention could even come close to arriving. You know, if you have a loved one in your life, no matter if it's your mother, your father, girlfriend, boyfriend, fiance, whoever, even your pet, if you love them, show them that you love them. Tell them that you love them, you know, and let's have respect and let's just enjoy all of our lives together. And the reason why I'm getting so sensitive about this is because of the fact that you never know when's going to be your last day. There have been a lot and we can all see by news a lot of weather activity going on lately. And you just don't know when it's going to be your time. So, take care of your loved ones and make sure you know that they love you. Okay? Um, last story. 4.55. Wow. Okay, I hope you're still watching. Um, 
America's Top 10 Beaches, Siesta Key, Sarasota, Florida. What's up? I've never been there, but now I want to go check it out. Um, review saying that the sand on that beach is almost like grains of sugar. It's that fine and crystal, and it's so bright you have to wear sunglasses because the sun reflecting off it is just it's blinding because it's such white sand. So, number one beach, if you live in Florida, take the drive to Sarasota, Siesta Key, check it out. Um, Big ups to San Diego, California for getting the number two spot. Number three, Hawaii. You know Hawaii's always going to get somewhere in the top three. So anyway, it's your boy Teddy B signing out for the day. Five minutes, 32 seconds. I hope I didn't waste your time. I'm going to come at you probably Sunday. If not, happy Memorial Day. Y'all be safe. See ya.